The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections Paint and Body Shop, Helping Hands Lawn Service, The Hotline Press Newspaper of Hempstead, Texas, Diva Skin Conditioner, Purple Drip, Daiquiri, and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 832-213-8824. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. It's our daily mission to bring you news that you can use. Today is no exception to the rule. It is Football Friday. It is the eve of the SWAC Championship. Jackson State and Prairie View. But for some strange reason... There has been all sort of other distractions. But nonetheless, we'll navigate through that as best as possible. You can follow me on Twitter at The Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is obnradio.com and our 24-hour dial-in message line. 713-570-6673 713-570-6736 And without any further delay we might as well jump right into today's episode And with that being said of course the SWAG Championship game will kick off 3pm Central Standard Time from Jackson, Mississippi, you can listen to that game live right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. All you have to do is dial 857-777-0000, catch all the action. You could be on the move, on the go, on the road, might not have a television in front of you. You can listen to the game as it unfolds and go back if you haven't recorded to check it out, then compare notes. But it's our service back to not only PV Nation, but to SWAC Nation. That number again is 857-777-0000. Lee Hall and Joshua Davis will be on the play-by-play call, and we can't wait to give you that game throughout its entirety. Now, I know that it has been a roller coaster emotionally, depending on who you are, depend on what state you have involved in the process. But nonetheless, it's come to the point that at least from our viewpoint, we've become numb. And all that's really important is that somehow, some way, that Prairie View can find a way to be in the victor's lane at the end of this game. Now, I know if you go by popular demand, if you go by the people's choice, Prairie View stands no chance at beating Jackson State. But that's why we play the game. With all of the distractions and all of the hiccups and the doubts and chaos and everything that you could think of, to me, could almost be the mark of the perfect storm. We know and understand that things happen beyond our control and then things happen within our control. And things that are beyond our control, we cannot worry about that. We cannot let that consume us. We must focus on the issues at hand in which we control. 
And as far as the Panthers being victorious against Jackson State on Saturday, there are a couple of things that the Panthers must need do to have a fighter's chance. Step number one, no penalties. And let me stress, no unnecessary penalties. We know that penalties are a part of the game. Do not get in your way. Do not have the bonehead personal foul. Do not have the all size on third down to give life. Do not have the running into the kicker or roughing the kicker penalties. Keep your composure. Step number two, do not get into the lip service battle. That is not what you do. What you do is execute. What you do is stay focused. And what you do is that your actions speak for you. Step number three, you must, however you can, establish a run game. That is highly, highly, highly important. You must establish the run game because what the run game will do is help you set the tempo of your 12th man. And I call the 12th man time of possession. If you can keep that clock moving and if you can keep the chain moving in addition to scoring touchdowns, not field goals, you give yourself a greater opportunity. Step number three. Keep the ball in your best players on the field's hands. If it be Juwan Pass at that moment, if it's Stewart at that moment, whomever the person would be at that moment that is the best position player Keep the ball in their direction. Step number four. Do not get caught up into proving who's the better coach. Do not get into the coaching throwing contest. That's what I'll call it. And with that being said, I've been on record for a long time now. We've always talked about their three phases to a football game. Offense, defense, special teams, but I highly, highly insert coaching. If you stay within, don't do anything extraordinary. Don't try to do anything new. Stay focused. Dance with the one that got you here. You should come out okay Jackson State tall order undefeated but if you look at the body of work that Jackson State has put in although they're undefeated there have been some games that their opponents allow them a way of escape and Prairie View cannot allow Jackson a way of an escape come Saturday now I know This sounds like the perfect storm, and it sounds like it's a bunch of wishful thinking. But guess what? It really is. And I am on record for saying that Prairie View will find a way to win this game. Now, what happens after that is beyond my control. It's beyond your control. And there's absolutely nothing that neither you nor I could do about that but oh by the way I do have a commentary for one or the other if not both and I'm pretty sure it will be interesting to those who would dare to listen the Prairie View A&M University Panthers and the Jackson State Tigers the battle for swag primacy 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. And don't forget, you can listen live right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. All you have to do is dial 
777-0000. Dion asked Jackson State Nation or JSU the I love. Do you believe? TV Nation, I'm asking you. Do you believe? It's enough speculation. It's enough woulda, coulda, shouldas. All that is water under the bridge. The main thing is that this game will be played with or without decisions made or announced. And when the dust has settled, Panthers need to win this game. Now we know that the popular choice would be for JSU to win. And I get it. I get it. But oh how sweet it would be that by purple and gold can find a way to be in the victor circle. Now the Panthers will be the visiting team, of course. And according to reports that we've gathered up, Panthers will be in their all white with the gold helmets. And if anybody keeps up with Panthers athletics and this show in particular, the Panthers are undefeated when they wear their gold helmet. Just something I thought I would throw out there. I am going to exit stage left. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. I want to thank you guys so much for joining in with us. And as always, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.